hi Silem stars welcome back to the channel if you're not a Silem star what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button down below and join the family in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to make a six pieces skirt from start to finish i've gotten a couple of requests on this so today i decided to make this tutorial for you guys i'm going to show you guys the easiest quickest way to draft cut and sew a six pieces skirt from start to finish so if you want to see how i do this definitely keep on watching oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> So I've gone ahead to sketch the front and the back. This is a sketch of what the six pieces skirt is supposed to look like, okay? Now as you can see, the front and the back pieces look identical. There are three panels in front and three panels at the back. But because of the zipper allowance at the back, you want to go ahead and also draw a line right at the center. We're going to have a seam right at the center of the back where the zipper is going to be attached to and it's also going to have a tail at the bottom part which is what i'm just sketching now okay so that will make the back panel to have four pieces instead of three pieces that the front panel has okay so this is what we're, we're looking out for now that top part is the waist in that part there we have the hip and then at this part we have the knee okay it's very important that you know what a six pieces skirt looks like so you know where you're um, cutting and how to cut it basically and that's the length at the bottom there now looking at the front piece you want to determine how wide you want the center panel to be now the distance the width of the center panel is basically the nipple to nipple um, width so that's your bust pan measurement so you measure from your one nipple to the other nipple for me it's eight inches so that's the going to be the width of my center panel so 8 inches divided by 2 because I'm going to cut it on fold, that will give me 4 inches. Now for the bottom part, you have to also decide how wide you want the bottom part to be. Depending on how much fabric you have, you can go ahead and determine that. For me, I want mine to be 10 inches when folded, okay? So when it's open, obviously, that means it's 20 inches. Now with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and cut our 6 pieces. Skirt. I'm using an Ankara fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice, but I've chosen to use an Ankara fabric, okay? Now, for the length of my skirt, I'm using the entire length of the Ankara fabric, or the enti entire width, rather, of the Ankara fabric, which is 45 inches. So, my skirt is going to be 45 inches long. Now, like I mentioned, the bottom part, which is the center panel now, is going to have a width of 10 inches when folded, which is what I wrote on my... Um, paper illustration like i said as well the length of my skirt is 45 inches which is what i'm just confirming now obviously you can make that and the bottom part the width of the bottom part of your panel wider or narrower now from the baseline there i'm just going to go ahead and mark my hip line which is nine inches and then i'm also going to go ahead and mark my knee line which is 17 inches all right that's what i went ahead to just do so remember that we are cutting the center panel that's the center front panel now now i'm going to go ahead and just extend those two lines that's the hip line and the knee line now once we've done that we're going to take our illustration again now remember that at the waistline we had marked four inches which is our bust pan width now for the hip at that hip point is also going to be four inches okay which is still the same bust pan measurement but at the knee line we're going to take out half inch from that um, measurement and that's what's going to give us 3.5 inches so we took out half inch from the four inch um you know width that we have we are taking for the waist and the hip so i'm going to for the waist now i'm going to go ahead and just mark that four inches at the hip i'm also going to go ahead and mark that four inches but at the knee, I'm going to mark three and a half inches. Now, this is what is going to give your six pieces get that lovely shape, that lovely fitted shape all the way to the knee before it flares out. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and just connect all those points. Now, once you have done that, the next thing you're going to do is add half inch to all those points. Now, this is going to serve as my sewing allowance. Okay? Because if we don't add any allowance, when you sew it, it's going to reduce the width of your um, panel that you had already measured, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just add that half inch all the way down to the knee and then connect all those points. Now, once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and connect, just draw a straight line 
from that point at the knee all the way out to the edge of the fabric remember that the bottom part is still 10 inches wide obviously when it's open it's going to be 20 inches wide so if you have more fabric you can go ahead and cut it as much as 14 inches at that bottom part now if you want a you want your center panel to have like a curve at the hip area i'm going to draw exactly what i'm talking about so this is like a sketch of your skirts but then you don't want the center panel to be straight you want it to have like a curve you know around that hip area and then it gets slimmer what you have to do is just get slimmer at the knee rather then what you have to do is just come out again by either half an inch or one inch at that hip line and then connect it from the waist to the hip and back to the knee okay that's what's going to give you that lovely curved shape but we're not going to be doing that for this tutorial we're going to be doing a regular straight you know shape for that um, center front okay so it's important that you just have that in mind just in case that's what you're going for so i'm just going to go ahead and just cut along um, that line so now we're done with our center front as you can see it's very very easy okay now when you're cutting a six piece skirt you have to take note of your fabric you have to take note of the patterns you have on your fabric now as you can see if i go ahead and place my center front on top of the fabric this way to cut the center back you can see that the pattern is this one is facing up this one is facing down and that's not what it's supposed to be but if your fabric is plain or it has patterns that can go either way then go ahead and just cut it cut it um any way you like but for me i want i want all the patterns to face the same way so now placing the center front on top of the new fabric i'm leaving about seven inches at the bottom there which is going to serve as my tail for the back now once i have that i'm going to go ahead and just extend the hip line and the knee line now the waist of the center back at the waist there i'm going to add one and a half inches at the hip i'm going to add two inches and at the knee i'm going to add one and a half inches as well now the reason why i came out at the hip is so that it gives space for the bum this is a six pieces skirt so you want you don't want the bum to be pressed flat okay so you want to have enough room for the bum now from that knee i'm just going to go ahead and just draw a straight line all the way out to the edge of the fabric there and that's going to serve as my tail now i'm just going to go ahead and just cut the other side of the center back the same way with the center front so the difference basically between the center front and the center back is this zipper allowance and this tail that i just created okay now go ahead and create a small notch where the zipper allowance starts okay so i'm just folding it at that point there just creating it a small notch so that i know that this is where my zipper allowance for the back um for the center back starts okay and with that we are done cutting the center front and the center back so as you can see now the center front which is this one is done and the center back here is also done which is this one as you can see we have our zipper allowance and we also have our tail which is that side as well okay i hope this illustration makes it easier for you guys to understand now back to our illustration again we want to cut the two side fronts and the two side backs now they are exactly the same okay so we're going to go ahead and cut both of them or all four we're going to go ahead and cut all four pieces together so i'm going to fold my fabric into two and then i'm going to go ahead and fold it again into four so i can cut the two cent two side front pieces and the two side back pieces together now placing my um, center front on top of the fabric there i made sure that um, it's aligned with the um with the bottom part of the fabric Now I'm going to make sure I have at least um, seven inches after the fold of the um, center front. So I make sure that I had actually at least extra seven inches. That will make the side front wider, okay, and fuller. Now I'm going to cut that slanted edge of the center front. Just going to go ahead and just follow that line and then just cut it for the side front and the side back pieces, okay? 
now once i've done that i'm going to go ahead and just extend my knee line and my hip line to make sure that they show on the um the pieces for the side front and the side back now what i'm going to do is at the knee line i'm going to create a small notch so that i know that this side is the side that is going to be joined to the center front and the center back okay so it's important that you have that notch there so you're not confused when you're sewing it together now i'm going to place the center front side by side with the side front pieces so that i can go ahead and mark my um vertical measurement with. as you can see i have about four inches which is what i had four and a half inches rather and then at the hip line i have about um four and a half inches as well but at the knee line there i have four inches now i'm going to go ahead and just mark my vertical measurements now my waist measurement is 28 inches i'm going to just divide that by by four so i'm folding my tape into four and then i'm going to go ahead and just measure that starting from the um, center front okay i'm going to mark that point and then i'm going to go ahead and add my two inches um allowance for the hip i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to divide my hip measurement my hip measurement is 39 inches i'll divide that by four place that on that hip line there starting from the center front and i'm going to go ahead and mark my the points for my hip measurements and i'm also going to add two inches allowance to that same thing for my knee now for my knee i removed three inches from the hip measurement so my hip is 39 minus three inches that's 36 inches now i'm going to divide that by four and then place that on the knee line there and then mark that point as well and i'm also going to add two inches allowance to that now i'm going to connect all those points and then from the knee, I'm also going to draw a straight line all the way out to the edge of the fabric. Now, after cutting along that line, this is what we have. Now, I want to create a nice curved shape at the side. So I'm just taking out two inches there and I'm going to connect it to the hem there. Now, to get the point where I'm going to connect it to, I just divided that um, hem width by two. And then I just marked that point and then connected it to that two inch point. And then I cut along that line. These are the three pieces for our front. We can see we have two side front pieces and one center front piece. For our back, we have four pieces, two center front pieces and two side front pieces, okay? Now, since we're using um, a full lining for this skirt, I've gone ahead to cut the same pieces for my front and the back. I cut them on my lining as well. And as you can see, they are all the same length. So that was my front piece and this now is my back piece. Same lining, length and width for all of them. Now moving on to my front piece, you can see that this is the center front there. And remember that we had created notches so we know where we are joining the side um, front pieces. So as you can see now, I've just placed the side front piece on top of the center front piece, right sides facing. And then I went ahead to just pin along that line. I'm going to be sewing along that line. I'm going to be sewing them together with half of an inch seam allowance, okay? And then when I open it up, this is what we're going to have. I'm also going to place the other side front piece on the center front there, making sure that the notches align. And then I'm going to sew along that line, sew them together with half of an inch seam allowance. But before I do that, I'm going to, going to go ahead and just pin it, okay? And when I open it up after sewing, this is what we're going to have. Also, for the back piece, I'm also going to make sure that the notches align. Remember that we marked where our zipper allowance is going to be. So make sure you're not sewing the side piece of the back where you have that um, zipper allowance notch. Okay? You're sewing on the other side. So I just place the side back piece on top of the side back piece. <laughs> the side back piece on top of the center back piece right side is facing and then i pinned along the line where i'm going to sew now i'm just going to go ahead and just sew all the pieces make sure you sew it with half of an inch seam allowance 
so that's for both the fabric and the lining as well so the same thing you did for the fabric go ahead and do that for the lining so the front pieces of the fabric so the back back pieces of the fabric and also do the same thing for the lining as well now once you're done sewing this is what you're going to have this is the fabric all you have to do now is go ahead go ahead and open the allowance there and then iron it flat now i'm going to place the lining the front piece of the lining right sides facing with the front piece of the fabric okay and now i'm going to reduce remove one inch from the hem of the lining now the reason why i'm doing this is so that i can have a lovely hem line without the lining showing in front okay so just go ahead and just take out one inch from the hem of the lining not the fabric do not cut the fabric please cut just the lining so just cut out that one inch from only the lining once you're done with that you want to pull the lining to make it equal at that hemline with the fabric and then go ahead and just sew along that with half of an inch seam allowance once i'm done sewing in this is what i have as you can see now the lining is shorter than the fabric now i'm going to pull the lining upward so that it's equal with the fabric at the waist there and then i'm going to go ahead and just sew the sides closed the two sides Once I'm done with that, this is what we're going to have, okay? So as you can see now, you can see a bit of the fabric at the hemline while you're looking at the lining. That's what you're going for. Now go ahead and just turn this to the right side and then go ahead and iron it flat. So you can see it's looking lovely already. Now if you want to add this to a gown, you can go ahead and use it like this. But I'm going to be making a skirt, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and complete this. For the, line, for the back piece, you want to do the same thing. Place the, the lining right sides facing with the fabric, cut out one inch from the hem of the lining, sew, both of, sew the lining and the fabric together at the hem line, pull it up and then sew the sides. Just the same thing we did for the front piece. And once we're done with that, this is what we have. Obviously, you're doing this for the other back piece as well. So this is what you're going to have. Look at how neat it is, guys. Make sure you iron it flat, okay? Now we're going to place our back pieces right sides facing and then at the waist there i'm going to mark one inch at the hip i'm going to mark half inch and at the waist and at the knee again i'm going to mark one inch and then for the rest of the the bottom part of the skirt i'm going to mark half inch all the way down to the hem now the reason why i came out at the hip again is so that it accommodates the bum so i'm going to go ahead and just mark those lines and i'm going to go ahead and just join those two pieces following that line so once i've joined it this is what we're going to have as you can see our back piece is ready again if you are making a gown or a dress you can go ahead and use this and join you can, you can go ahead and join this to your um bodice and you have your gown ready but since we're making a skirt so we're going to go ahead and just complete this now folding the front piece in half I'm going to come down by one inch by half inch rather at that center front there and then connect that to the side now this is going to make your skirt fit better okay it looks it makes gives better fitting for your skirt now i'm going to divide my waist measurement by four place that at the waist there and mark that point for my hip i'm going to divide my hip measurement by four Place that on the hip and mark that point. And for the knee, I'll divide my knee measurement by four and mark that point at the knee line. And now I'm going to connect all three points together. And then from the knee, I'm just going to draw a straight line down to the hem of the skirt. Now when I open this, I'm going to fold it with the wrong sides facing each other so that I can mark that same um, line I had marked on one side. I can mark that on the other side as well. Then when I open this up, this is what we're going to have. Now I'm going to go ahead and just confirm my measurements. So when I measure the waist, I have 14 inches, which is 28 divided by 2. When I measure the hip, I have 19 inches, which is 38 divided by 2. And when I measure the knee, I have 18 inches, which is 
36 divided by 2. And now I'm going to place my back piece with the right side facing upward and I'm also going to go ahead and place my front piece right sides facing with the back. And now I'm going to go ahead and just sew along that line. Make sure you pin it so that it's easier for you to just take it to your sewing machine and just sew. And once we're done, this is what we have guys. Our skirt is almost ready. And now I'm going to turn this to the right side. And this is what we have guys. Look at how lovely our skirt looks already. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure my waist measurements and obviously it's 14 which is 28 divided by 2 so our waist measurement is 28 inches now i'm going to open up that zipper allowance all the way down to where we have the 18 where we have the 8 inch mark which is where my zipper is going to stop i'm going to go ahead and just measure it so i know the exact point so my zipper allowance stops at 8 inch or my zip is going to stop at the 8 inch mark so i'm going to loosen that allowance all the way to that 8 inch mark there Now, what I'm going to do next is, because we're going to be adding elasti elastic to this skirt, I'm going to measure from one of the darts, the dart joinings to the other one. Okay, so that's basically from the center front joining to the center back joining there. And what I had was 7 inches when I, when I measured that. Now, 7 inches divided by 2 give us 3 and a half inches. I'm going to add an extra half inch allowance to that and that will give us 4 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut that 4 inches on our elastic. I'm using a 1 inch wide elastic band. I'm also going to go ahead and cut another band, same 4 inches, for the both sides of my skirt. Now for my band, I just cut out a 4 inch wide band with the fabric. And then the length, I folded the top with about half inch and four ironed it down and then the length is 32 inches which is 28 plus 4 inches so whatever you have for your waist measurement just add 4 inches to that for the length of your band now i'm going to place the right side of my band on the wrong side of my skirt at the edge there i'm going to at the end there i'm going to pull it so it doesn't start where my skirt starts and then so i can fold that inward when i am sewing okay fold that inward so that makes that will make your band very very neat and then i went ahead to just sew it all the way around okay make sure that when you get to the other end you fold it in you fold your band in and then also sew it down this will make your band very very neat and now this is what it looks like in front now we're going to add our elastic band now one end of the elastic is going to be at that point where I had measured, I'm going to tack it there. But before I tack it, I'm going to go ahead and just pin it in place. So this is at that center front joining. And this other one is going to be connected to the center back joining. So where we have that seam for the center, that joins the side back with the center back. Same thing with the other side. We're going to join, we're going to pin the elastic on the other side of the center front joining. And then the other end of the elastic is going to be pinned at the um, center back joining as well. Hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to go ahead and just pin it as well. We're going to go ahead and just tack all those, those four points. So we're going to tack here, tack here, tack here, and tack here. Once we're done, this is what we have. Make sure you go to and fro very well so that it's sturdy and it's strong. Now turning this to the side, what we're going to do is we're going to fold our elastic, our band down and then we're going to go ahead and just sew it all the way around. When we get to the elastic point, we're going to pull it and then continue sewing all the way around. Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how I do this on my sewing machine. So make sure that the end is folded, the top of the band is also folded and then you fold the band down to cover that allowance, um, that um, seam allowance that's on the waist of the skirt. Now, when you get to the elastic band, you want to go ahead and cover the band, pull it before you cover the band. So pull the elastic and then cover the band and then continue sewing. And as you're sewing, make sure you're pulling it. You will notice that when you release it, 
the elastic is going to scrunch back so you want to go ahead and just pull it while you're at that point where you have the elastic when you get to the next elastic you want to pull it cover the band and then continue sewing now when you get to the part that doesn't have an elastic you can just sew it normally but when you get to the elastic make sure that you pull it when you get to the end make sure that the end is folded in the top part of the band is also folded in and then you want to fold it down to cover that waist allowance and then continue sewing all the way to the end and then you also want to go ahead and just um close that end of the of the band so sew the end of the band closed as well and this is what we have guys look at how neat our skirt looks I'm going to go ahead and just insert our zipper there and then once you're done with that you want to go ahead and just sew at the center of the elastic you know where you tacked your elastic you can use your fingers to feel for where the elastic is so just from one end of the elastic make sure you go ahead and just sew it down right at the center there all the way from one end of the elastic to the other end of the elastic now when you're doing this you want to pull the elastic and then sew all the way to the end and then go ahead and just stack that in place now this is going to give the elastic that part where the elastic is going to give it a very defined look defined and you know beautiful neat look now i'm going to have to insert my zipper and basically guys our skirt is done i'm going to show you guys what the full skirt looks like i'm also going to show you guys what the skirt looks like on me so this is the front part of our skirt look at how lovely it looks so you don't even need a weaving machine or a soldier or, or an overlock machine to sew these skirts and this is what the skirt looks like on me guys i really love how it turned out i'm going to make a lovely um top for this skirt and yeah basically this is what the skirt looks like it fits nicely very comfortable and guys it's just a very lovely skirt and i actually love it thank you guys so much for watching hope i see you guys in my next video and yeah subscribe if you haven't already and basically i use about three and a half yards of um fabric for this skirt okay just thought i should let you guys know but anyway guys thanks for watching bye